All right, so for this demonstration, we are adding an audio file to the very first slide of a presentation that will play through the presentation its entirety. The audio file we'll be recording is going to be our narrative for the entire presentation, and we'll have the presentation saved with its timings, so our narration can play right over the presentation without having any lag from slide to slide transitions. We have our presentation in the background, I'm now going to go ahead and open up the sound recorder. To get to this, you simply go to your Windows button, All Programs, Accessories, and then down to your sound recorder. This opens up a nice small program that comes with Windows. The only thing we'll be working with is clicking on Start Recording, and then click Stop Recording when we're all done. As far as that goes, that's all we have to worry about. Now for our presentation, what we need to work with is our slideshow setup. So go to slideshow, and on our record slideshow options, we'll want to tell it to play without the narrations and laser pointer. This is a checkbox that is normally checked, but uncheck it in our case, so that way you can actually get everything saved properly instead of having an individual file on each slide. We're going to go ahead and start the recording here with the sound recorder first, followed immediately by the actual recording on the presentation. While we're recording this, I'm going to give a very static presentation vocally, and that's what we'll actually have saved as our audio file. Welcome to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. What we are looking at today is a group of four slides that we can go through and have our audio be able to play comfortably between each set of slides. This is the road to success. You can see that we have items coming in on an animated effect and we're moving from slide to slide on a transition that we are selecting with our own mouse. This is opposed to having transitions set by timing which you would set up in PowerPoint itself. This is the final slide of this presentation. Now let's go ahead and get back to our tutorial. All right, now we do have our file saved out. Our audio file we closed and it asked us where we would like to save it. We'll just go ahead and save it to our desktop and just save it as background. Now this audio file does have some trimming at the very end that we don't need, but since we're already through our presentation, it doesn't matter that we ended up with extra time at the end because the presentation will make the audio stop all on its own. Here's our presentation in the background. You can see that we have the timing for each slide set up. This happened from us playing the presentation and having it record while we played it. We're going to go ahead and insert the audio file now. Open up the first slide of your presentation. Go to the drop down button under audio and select audio from file. Our background audio is saved on our desktop so we have it right available. Now the item will actually come in, it'll appear as an actual little speaker. You don't need to keep the image, you can hide it if you like. In our case we're going to keep it there just for reference purposes. The next step is to have it play automatically and to tell it to play with the previous. The reason we want the audio to play with the previous is because we want it to be able to start as soon as the slide begins and we're going to have it play across all four slides so we, that plays through the whole presentation. To do that, go to your animation pane and go to effect options. Under effect options, we have start playing, stop playing, and enhancements. Under stop playing, click after and select the total number of slides in your presentation. Click OK, and now we can play the presentation and make sure that those slides are able to play how they're supposed to with the audio file. Welcome to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. What we are looking at today is a group of four slides that we can go through and have our audio be able to play comfortably between each set of slides. All right, it looks like our audio file was embedded properly into this presentation. We'll go ahead now and save this as a Windows Media video. This is the easiest way to have a presentation play right from your website blog. And PowerPoint 2010 allows you to go to Save As, WMV file, which is your Windows Media video. 
We're going to go ahead and save this as demo, click save, and notice we'll have a status bar that appears in the bottom of our presentation screen that is a small narrow green bar. This can take several minutes to complete depending on the length of your presentation and how much you have embedded into it. All right, the video is done downloading now. We do have it here on our desktop. I'm going to go ahead and close out of PowerPoint. And here's the video that your viewers would be seeing. Welcome to Presenter Media. My name is Kara. What we are looking at today is a group of four slides that we can go through and have our audio be able to play comfortably between each set of slides. This is all right, our video is playing appropriately. Now you can upload it to your preferred server or YouTube, Vimeo, etc., and move on from there. Thanks for watching this demonstration.